guys, in the fast lane here. Before I get started, I'd just like to give a big thank you to Jesus Christ. If it wasn't for him, this world would have no hope. He came down as God in the flesh and died on the cross for our sins. I mean, what more could we ask for? Could you imagine if we had a God that every time he got angry or upset the way we acted or treated him, that he either punished us brutally or just killed us off or wiped the entire universe out? I mean, can you imagine? That's how gracious our God is. I mean, how many times, I can't even describe how many times I've messed up. And he's given me chance after chance after chance. And every time I ask for forgiveness, he's right there to forgive me with no regret. He completely forgives me and lets it go. I mean, that is an awesome God. So I just wanted to say that before I get started with this video. I'm kind of wearing the green Christmas shirt and all. So over here, I got a crack on my windshield. It's uh, right here. It's just a small little crack. And we're going to use a Permatex windshield repair kit for it. You can get it at AutoZone discount. Um, maybe even Walmart. So here's the Permatech repair kit. I'm uh, just going to open it up. Comes with a syringe, the adhesive, and a sticky pad. And this little piece right here, um, you mount it on over the uh, actual crack, and it'll allow it to drop the adhesive in there. Comes with, there's the sticky pad and here's the um, rubbing alcohol strip where you actually wipe the uh, little crack. This right here, this is actually a UV ray uh, piece of plastic. It, bring, it allows the UV rays to come in. I know it looks like just a piece of plastic and I was looking at it and wondering why it was yellow but when I was reading uh, it's actually to bring in the UVs to cure the adhesive quicker. They tell you to put it in direct sunlight if you can for 15 minutes and if it's cloudy day then leave it sit for about an hour. They also give you a thumbtack and I just threw that up there a utility blade for when you have to shave it off after you're done with the repair. So the first step is, is you're gonna take this thumbtack and we're gonna pick at the uh, the hole and or crack and try to clean it up a little bit so that the adhesive can seep in there. So I doubt you can see it too well but I'm just gonna pick at this crack right here and I'm gonna clean it all out and just make sure that there's nothing in the way of like a piece of dirt or something so it can flow right into that crack smoothly. After you've picked at it a little bit, you're just gonna take your little rubbing alcohol strip and you're gonna clean in a circle <laughs> far beyond the actual crack itself because we need that adhesive pad to stick. So make sure it's really clean. Now that that's complete, you're gonna take your pedestal, that's what they call this little thing, and you want it to be facing up because you want the gravity of the uh, adhesive to be pulling it down. You want the gravity to pull that adhesive down. If it's down, it's gonna leak out all over your windshield. So that's another key point, make sure it's up. So we're gonna take this sticky pad and I'm just going to peel off the white side and I'm gonna actually stick it to the pedestal. So you just take it like this and the same exact way, just like that and kind of smush it on there get out any uh, bubbles once you're done with that then you're going to peel off the green part right here so let's peel this green off green's a little trickier than the white okay so peel it all the way off and now we're going to stick it on the crack that we have on the windshield. So make sure you open your door and look. You want the crack to be right in the middle of the hole or close enough. So I'm going to open the door. And you always want the pedestal nipple to be facing up. Once you have that on, go ahead and press it down and look on the inside of your windshield and you can see the air bubbles coming out of the adhesive strip. The next step is to get your resin 
and take off the cap and you're gonna cut the tip and I like to use a uh, little bread tie or a um, a little straw off a WD-40 can because when you pour it in here it kind of wants to sit at the top so I just kind of poke at it until it drops down in there so that's what we're gonna do let's go ahead and cut the tip off keep it away from your vehicle because you don't want it to get in there once you cut your tip off just go ahead and put it all the way down in there kind of push now you can look on the inside and make sure it's full yep mine's all the way full you can kind of just jiggle it around there just make sure all the bubbles are out now we're to the syringe part and you're probably wondering what these two gashes are and those serve a purpose and this clip also. So the first step is to put the syringe into the pedestal and we're gonna pull up until we get to the first clip right here on the bottom. You're gonna turn it, you can turn it and if you pull up then it locks in and we're creating a vacuum. You wanna push that clip. So now it can't go back down and it's gonna be in the pedestal and that you leave that sit for 10 minutes. Then when you're done with that you push it back out, or turn it, I wouldn't push it back out, I would just turn it. And then you push it back down until you get to the next one and lock that in and you let that sit for 20 minutes. So here we go, first step, plunger all the way down, make sure everything's sealed off really good. Push down on it. Go ahead and push that in there really good and tight. And now we're going to pull up until we get to the first one or the actually not the first one the second one I'll tell you what that's a good vacuum there we go slide that clip forward and you can see it locked in now we're gonna leave that set for 10 minutes so here's what it's doing right now you can see the bubbles coming right out of the crack and actually the foam itself so it's just creating a vacuum and it's pulling all the air and everything right out of that crack and then when we're done we're going to create a positive uh, effect and we're gonna push down on it and lock it into the next tab all right so we've let this sit for 10 minutes we're gonna go ahead and twist and pull up and that's gonna allow the air to come back in there we go now what we want to do is we want to turn it sideways we're going to put it back in, push it in real good, and now we're going to push down into the second one so that it actually pushes pressure in there. And then push the clip forward and just leave that sit for 20 minutes. And we'll come back in 20 minutes. Alright, so it's been 20 minutes. We're just going to simply, I'm just going to leave the whole um, syringe and everything on there. We're going to pull up on the sticky part. Now you're going to want to get a cloth. And you don't want to wipe it all off because we want to actually save some of that because we're going to actually put it on the yellow strip. So go ahead and you can probably get some pliers. This one's actually on there. Well, I guess I will remove the syringe because it's uh, a little tough doing it like that. So just peel it back and get it started and go get your little yellow piece of plastic. This little guy right here. And we're going to peel it back and get your cloth ready because it's going to run down there. Actually, just take some of that that's dripping and put it right in the middle. There we go. And you want to wipe as much as you can because you don't want to actually have to scrape the rest off. So just wipe around it. And that's good. Now take your little yellow piece and you don't want any air bubbles. So if you have any air bubbles, just kind of push them out. There we go. And now we're going to either move the vehicle towards sunlight or let this sit for one hour. Once this is finished drying after 20 minutes, I'll take the razor blade out of the pack they gave me. I'll pull this back and I'll shave it flush with the window 
until it's just nice and smooth. Then I'll spray it with some Windex or rubbing alcohol and clean it off. And then that's pretty much it. And if you're thinking, well, what can I use this syringe for when I'm done with the project? Just throw it in the garbage? Well, there's actually a couple things you could do with it. Uh, you could give it to your son or daughter and use it as a uh, super soaker. Or another great thing to use it for is a ear wax cleaner. Uh, I've actually gone to the hospital and they've used these very same things. Uh, plastic syringe with a kidney bowl and they put your ear in there and they push gently and it blasts the wax right out of your ear. Now, I'm not going to be held reliable if somebody uses this and blows out their eardrum, but uh, just push it as hard as you need to push it, but this is what they use in the hospitals. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead, comment, like, and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out my Facebook page, website, and Android app. All that can be found on my YouTube channel in the About Me section. I'm in the fast lane, and I'll see you guys next time.